welcome back to the Gable Hall channel. My name is Miss Clifford and today we are going to be looking at the required practical of reaction time which is for combined science and additionally GCSE biology. So we are going to be investigating reaction time. Reaction time is defined as the time taken to respond to a stimulus. We are going to be changing the amount of caffeine consumption so we're going to have zero caffeine or some caffeine. Caffeine is a stimulant so in theory it should increase your reaction time and that's what we're going to investigate. Our dependent variable is what we're going to measure, and as I said, it's going to be the reaction time, which we will convert to milliseconds in a table later on. Our control variables are what we're going to keep the same, so that's going to be your arm position, the person who obviously is receiving the ruler, the ruler, the height of the drop, and the amount of caffeine. So, we're going to pan to the results table. Here we have caffeine and no caffeine. We have our tries in the left-hand column, followed by distance, and then time in milliseconds, which we're going to convert once we've got our results. Then we have no caffeine and the same. Try, distance, and time in milliseconds. We're just going to pan to Mr Taku, who is about to drink our Coke. Mr. Taku has ingested the caffeine. So now we're going to test his reaction time with our ruler. So I'm just going to place the ruler above his fingers. It needs to be at the same place every single time. So in we're gonna go now. So that has gone to so it's 140, so that is four no 130, sorry, so 13 centimetres. So we're gonna fill that in here, 13 centimetres, which is 163 milliseconds. We're just going to repeat it one more time. So same again, in the same place, so just above. And that has given us, let's say that is 18 centimetres. So 18 centimetres, which leaves us at 192. So we have filled in the no caffeine, as we did that before Mr Taku ingested the caffeine or the Coke. So as you can see from our results table, the distance was shorter on the caffeine, where the caffeine was ingested, than where the caffeine wasn't ingested. This means that reaction time was quicker in when the caffeine was ingested than when the caffeine was not ingested. And you can tell this by the time. So you can see that 163 and 192 is less than 202 and 212. That means that the reaction time is shorter, which means that the caffeine has obviously had a stimulating effect on his reaction time, and therefore it is shorter.